Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the April forecast. So we have the four groups for the pick a card. We have group one, group two, group three and group four. Obviously there are other cards but this is basically how the spread is looking right now. So please choose your group and we're going to see what's happening for you guys in April. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys in the month of April. So we're going to get this and see <laughs> how positive we can get we're going to make this a really really positive reading so we're going to see what the overall energy is we have wisdom wow that's a really really big message so for a lot of you guys your energy is pretty much shifting to um, a higher vibration okay so the the way you see your life is very much changing sorry if you could hear any noises i was adjusting myself um let me pull that camera up a little bit so the way you're seeing your life is pretty much changing right now um the way that you kind of live your life is very much changing, which is kind of obvious with the way we're living our lives right now. Um, but the way you have lived your life before is kind of, it's not insignificant, but you're kind of shedding a lot of layers and you're feeling a lot more wiser and you're getting a lot more knowledge with how you're living your life, okay? So seeing what else we have here. Oh, beautiful. We have coming to the edge. We then have try and flow so as you can see all the cards are like really light they're very very light colors they're all very very light energy so this feels like the energy that i'm feeling it feels very much that you are pretty much in quite a good space i'm feeling that if you're not really in a good space i feel like you're being urged to kind of shift whatever no longer serves you so you can be in that good space because i do see the good space coming we then have impulsiveness that is lovely so a lot of forward movement this airy season is really going to bring you forward and we also have the number one so if the number one is significant for you we also have three and six which is six seven eight nine <laughs> nine sorry guys it's my brain isn't working today um we have impulsiveness as well which is actually the mm, mars in aries which is really interesting so you're going to really be feeling this energy of kind of okay i want to go forward i want to go forward but obviously we can't we are quite stuck in terms of physical movement some of us have more movement than others obviously depending on where you are in the world but i do feel like you're going to have a really a good time actually within this internal uh space because you're going to have a chance to actually think about what you want to do and you may actually be more productive than what you've been before because maybe where you had so much to do you didn't actually get a lot done because there's probably too much to do and it's probably too overwhelming okay beautiful we have clear quartz crown chakra this is a really really lovely crystal so overall i feel like obviously i'm going to look into this a little bit more detail but for these cards here with the number 14 i'm really looking at this so if you guys you could be born on the 14th day um for some of you guys especially for those of you who are aries as well um and this makes me feel like you guys are really kind of connecting with your um with your higher self and you're very much in a <clears throat> excuse me very peaceful place i feel like you're in a very kind of calm space this clear course is really beautiful though i feel like this is very kind of like okay i can handle this you know i don't feel any kind of i feel really relaxed looking into this group i don't feel any kind of like stress or any sort of nothing that makes me think oh jesus christ like <laughs> run away sort of thing this actually makes me feel like you guys are really in in the flow and you're really kind of harmonizing with everything that's going on the color purple could be very very accurate for you i do feel like um you're very grounded and if you need to get grounded get grounded come to the edge makes you feel like you guys have a hobby or something that you want to do but you're not actually executing it yet so this is a sign that you guys actually can do this thing here but it's like you need to actually execute it okay so we're going to see roughly what's kind of going on within this month what's happening in the first week of april first week of april first week of april for group number one okay beautiful clearing out the old that's perfect clearing out the old group, uh, week number two. Oh, that flew out beautiful you guys i really think you guys are pretty much like proper fire signs i really really feel that let's move these over here and then we can put these here there we go okay i'm gonna just not take those i don't really want those okay knight of swords you guys are definitely in kind of like release the old and then move on to the new and fast like you guys are really moving into that fast i don't see any kind of doubt about that at all beautiful okay let's just clarify the six of swords where are we where are we moving off to oh lovely 
I'm glad I clarified that. Okay, so let's just clarify all these cards. Let's see what the devil is all about. Beautiful. Queen of Wands, lovely, and Knight of Swords. Oh my god, wow. So some of you could actually be starting a relationship or meeting someone new. We have the moon. I'm also going to be doing an April love reading, guys. So look out for that if you want to know more about your love life in April. So the moon card is basically what I feel like this meditation is. So you guys could be really getting a lot of insights through your meditation. Okay, you could be getting a lot of kind of insights as to anything that needs to change. I'm really focusing on these white flowers. and I'm really focusing on the clear and the clear quartz and a lot of white and purifying, clearing out, detoxifying, that sort of thing. It feels very like, okay, letting new things come in. So the first week we have the devil with the ten of swords. This is a really beautiful energy. Sorry guys, you didn't really see that. This is a really beautiful energy because I really feel like for you guys this feels like, okay, I know I can, I'm recognising what needs to go and it's going, okay? There's no doubt about whatever is coming and I really love this black. I love the contrast that I'm feeling in the white and then we have the black. So this is what you're getting rid of right now, that you are ending an old cycle. You are no longer in a karmic wheel in terms of the old karma. This is like 20... 30 years of karma, 10, 20, 30 years, even five years of karma that you're releasing. Sorry guys, if you can hear my stomach rumbling. <laughs> I have my microphone quite near my stomach, so if you can hear it, I do apologize for that. So yeah, this is really, really lovely. Um, there's just a lot of kind of old ways that are, are no longer serving you that are being released. So toxicity, um, any kind of people that no longer serve you, any old feelings, forgiveness that needs to come through will come through. And I think you could, this could be even to do your diet. This could even be like cutting your own hair, dyeing your hair. I don't know what I've got on my hand there. Uh, dyeing your hair, um, maybe wearing new clothes, different clothes. You're just really shedding like anything that needs to go and you're really kind of renewing yourself. It's almost like you've gone for a breakup and you know people say like when you dye your hair after you've gone for a breakup that you're completely over your person or you have a new haircut you feel like a new person it's that sort of thing some of you could even gone, have gone for a breakup okay especially because of all these energy shifting you may have got a massive amount of wisdom and then thought actually I don't really want this person in my life anymore um or basically they haven't been a very good person in your life for a while and, they, and now you've made that shift so week two Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles. This is very beautiful. So this is you giving to yourself and giving to others, having more time to give to others. For you guys, you could be quite busy, especially if you are an Aries or a fire sign, you're somebody who's constantly on the go all the time, constantly doing something. This is fiery energy, this is earth. So what I feel like is you're trying to ground your ideas into the, into the present and you're feeling much more kind of energetic you're actually feeling much more powerful. You feel like a powerful lady or woman or man. <laughs> um, yeah, you feel like really, really powerful and you're willing to, to help people because you are in a very good space. You know, you're, you've got that time to have that space. I do feel like you're going to have some sort of idea to do the charity or you could have some sort of idea how to help people, um, how to reach out to people, something like that. Um, but I really feel like this is, I'm hearing passion. This is release. And I'm hearing passion for this week, okay? So week three, we have the Knight of Swords with the King of Cups. This is you feeling like, okay, let's get this thing into action. For those of you who are looking for a masculine, I feel like it could be a, a, a feminine as well, but I'm feeling masculine. It doesn't have to be a male, but a masculine energy. Um, I am feeling you guys are going to hear from somebody from the past. But also, um, if you're wanting masculine, I do see you guys um, finding someone new. It could be that you're, the old person's kind of gone and the new person's coming in or that a person from the past is showing up because your energy has shifted and normally I've heard that like when you have a new partner that the new people that the old people from the past come in because they recognize that your energy has changed but they haven't actually they don't actually know on a physical level you know like on an energetic level they start to contact you and you're like why haven't I heard from you in like two years and it's literally because your energy has changed so you're like oh now I'm in a relationship everyone wants me kind of thing so for you guys you could be in start to be in a relationship with somebody if that's what you want cancerian energy here it could be scorpio pisces as well but it could just be a mature person in your life who's helping you through this process and you're really you know what you want this is like i know what i want and you're taking it into action this could also be an air sign coming back from the past as well just to let you guys know okay but i really feel like you're going to be focusing more on this king of cups um, and if this person does come in and they're not really a good egg or you're not really too sure about them you're going to think actually i want someone who's mature and if you can't do that then i'm going to let you go so 
fourth week we have the six of swords with the, with the sun this is lovely you're moving towards happiness really 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 fast um i just saw like a light um moving past it could have been a bird but sometimes i see animal spirits so it gets a bit confusing what's a spirit and what's a real animal <laughs> um but i feel like for you guys the the sun is here to show you that when you're moving away from this situation it could be this air sign you're moving away from or somebody who overruled your life basically um or somebody who made you think you weren't doing anything right you're moving away from that and if you're worried about moving away from a situation this is confirmation that you when you do move away from that situation you're debating about moving away from it's going to be perfect it's going to be so good and you're going to be really really happy okay so at the end of the at the end of the month i feel much happiness i love how we've got the moon underneath and then we've got the sun right at the end so this is you really clearing out shit and then and then able to start new and fresh with yourself and feeling really really good about yourself okay so let's have a look for the advice for group number one beautiful take those three okay so we have intuition here we go listen to your soul's truth think less feel more listen to that part of you that's like oh i don't know you know spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker look after yourself put yourself first guys that is the most important thing and we also have dog spirit uh, spiritual service maybe divine service um how can you serve yourself better so really giving yourself that time and space and actually doing things for yourself actually giving yourself that space to kind of move forward and giving yourself the opportunity to do that also right let's have a look and see what's your self-care for this month <laughs> spend time with friends okay so that's gonna be a little bit difficult in the physical <clears throat> in the physical sense but i just my throat just cleared so i think it's time for you to talk to your friends about something that's on your mind and also if you're having doubts about something talk to them about how you feel because that might help you to just kind of shift through aromatherapy this is a very good one um my sacral chakra was really feeling it the other day and i was feeling very very frustrated and angry and i put on some um in like a oil burner I put on the uh, lemongrass and geranium and it really, really helped. So that, that was amazing. We also have spend time with animals. Beautiful. So if you guys can get out in nature, really try and just kind of listen to the birds. If not, open your window, listen to the birds or listen to the birds on like YouTube, you know, watch animal videos, that sort of thing. Be around your dog or your pet or, you know, do whatever you need to do. Okay. So let's see what your number is for this month. See what you should be looking out for. Number three, beautiful, creativity, expression. Um, so for this group, I really feel like the sacral and, and the um, solar plexus is like the main one for you guys to look into the um, chakra and also your crown as well. You're really getting downloads. So listen to that, listen to your intuition. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Um, and if any of you guys would like a crystal necklace, I will do my best to uh, do that for you. If you want to request that, you can always... Uh, email me or you can Instagram message me. All the information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys in April. So we have love. <laughs> Lovely. So we have lilac and then we also have tourmaline smudging root chakra and we also have unfinished symphony. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to swap these around actually because I feel like that needs to be there for some reason and that needs to be there there we go okay so okay let's have a look and see what other cards we've got moon feelings okay you guys have definitely got a love love card love reading um i'm also going to doing a april love reading guys so if you want to check that out then that'll be most likely be uploaded after this one so uh check that out if you want to so uh obviously when i've uploaded it so for a lot of you guys you're really in your feelings about love if uh, you're interested in somebody you want somebody or you're really just wanting to have love in your life whether this be friendship relationships anything like that okay there's definitely something that you unfinished because you're basically letting go of a lot of negativity excuse me just burped that's confirmation <laughs> so there's a lot of kind of um this okay too many messages right tourmaline is really really good for um, blocking negativity and kind of getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you okay guys so keep that in mind really really good for this time of uh this time at the moment with this unfinished symphony i really feel like you guys are actually learning to understand yourself you're learning how to love you're learning how to understand your own love language and you're learning other people's love language so for a lot of you guys you could have met somebody 
recently or in the month of April and you're basically learning okay so this is how it feels to be in this relationship this is definitely a relationship you never had before so you're going to actually understand yourself at a very deep level that you've never really kind of felt before and therefore there's going to be a lot of things that are going to come up music is going to really help you to move through that so really listen to some lovely music anything that makes you happy okay so we have moon feelings and risks so there could be somebody who you're interested in and it's a bit of a risk okay you're not really too sure if you want to be this person you possibly have a little bit of commitment issues or sort of issues in terms of committing when it comes to someone you really 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 like okay it can be scary because maybe you've been let down in the past so if there is somebody you want to move forward they're saying do it just friggin do it um or this person will take a risk on you okay um and we have the I'm pretty sure this is Uranus, Jupiter, I don't know, I get confused, sorry guys, uh, but this is Aries though, so there's a lot of kind of Aries energy, group number one got Aries as well, and because we're in Aries season, that's obviously coming up, and a lot of people are taking the risk on things, if you, if you want to do something that you're really, really passionate about as well, friggin' do it, okay, because the universe is saying, look, you need to do this, this is something that's very, very important to you, okay, so let's see, oh, okay, so week one, Week two. Week three. There's a lot of black going on. I really feel like you guys are really, really using it. Oh, sorry guys. So my microphone just fell on the floor. Okay, week four. Right, so it's definitely something to do with love. You're scared. You're scared of this person because you're you're scared of your own feelings. You're not sure if you want to be with this person. You're like, I don't freaking know. I think it's interesting how sometimes I clarify and sometimes I don't. And they're like, Vicky, you definitely need to clarify this one. Um, so this is really interesting. There's definitely energy of, okay, I want to work towards something to do with my career. I want to just work on myself. If you feel like bogged down by this energy, just keep working on yourself. Keep doing things that make you happy. Um, because that's going to help you to shift through. You don't want to get stagnant because that will cause anxiety to come in. Also, meditation will really, really help you with this, okay? Yep, so just kind of meditate and understand that when the, when this um, offer is going to come in, it will come in at the right time, guys. And if the offer's already there, then just, then just sit with it and make a decision at your own time because you are releasing a lot of stuff from the past in week two as well. So you just gotta be gentle with yourself. There could be something that causes you to release something, which just let it come in, okay guys? I don't see it being anything too bad. I think it might just be reminisc reminiscent, like backlog of the past. So just let it come through. Just let love kind of um, be the be present here. And just love yourself and just say, you know what? These emotions are obviously coming up for a reason. I'm gonna feel them. That's what we're here for. No one wants to come out. Yeah, you're really letting go of things. Okay, so uh, week three doesn't look too happy, but I feel like it's definitely... Okay, I feel like if your person wants to come in, they're most likely going to come in in week three because I think you're going to be triggered by this person because they're so amazing. And you're going to be like, oh, what if it's like before? What if it's like... And it's not. It's not, okay? Um, and it's almost like for some of you guys, if you're working from home and you're quite busy with work... Um, you could think, oh, I don't have enough time. For, I don't have enough time for a relationship. I'm working, you know. But this person's gonna be really intimate with you. <laughs> very, very attracted to you in week four. So there's gonna be an intense connection. You just, oh, you just lust for this person. Okay, sorry guys, I went into my Scorpio ness then. Um, but they're gonna be really good for your career. They could be um, connected to your career. Could be connected to work. Um, also guys as I said I don't know if I said this to you guys but I'm going to do a love reading for April so if you guys want to know about love in more depth I will do that uh, in the next video so for you guys if this isn't love I definitely feel like it's definitely some sort of offer you're contemplating about your career okay if not you're just meditating on your career you're wondering okay is this the career that I really really want you're releasing anything from the past and you're trying something new is starting to come in something stable wants to come in okay and it's it's here to help you okay so let it come in so let's have a look for the number for you guys to look out for. Number six, beautiful. So that's really, really lovely. Working on your health, working on your career, um, working on your body, making sure your temple is, is number one, which is your body. Your body is your temple, okay? Sorry if my card chuckling is really loud. I'm trying to do it like away from the mic. Right, beautiful. We have success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. Exactly. You can have what you want. You can literally have what you want. You just need to believe that you can have it. 
Uh, there we go. Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Exactly, that's this. Welcome this transformation. Welcome it to, to come in. <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> Another transformation card. Emerging. Take the leap of faith. Exactly. That's exactly what this is. That's this risk. That's this risk coming in. So whatever you're actually releasing, that could be a risk too. You're like, oh, I don't know if I should release this person. I don't know if I should release this emotion because it's safe, but it also feels uncomfortable because we can feel safe in the uncomfortableness, guys, you know? All right, let's see what self-care we need to be looking out for for group number two. Self-care for group number two. I will be doing a longer reading for the next video, guys, so... I will be doing a more in-depth reading, so just to let you guys know. So it won't be, it will be longer than this. Right. You gonna come out? Self-love, group number two, self-love. <laughs> you guys got the same as uh, group number one, spend time with friends. So There's definitely an element of connection. Yep, both got the same cards as group number one, beautiful. So as I said to group number one, obviously we can't actually physically see our friends right now, um, and when this kind of thing shifts, we will, but not yet. So um, really kind of, this will help you to be in the moment because you're really kind of connecting to your senses. So um, talk to your friend online, um, have a group chat, have a nice, you know, FaceTime sesh. Um, and also aromatherapy is very, very good. One of my sacral chakra was doing some weird shit. Um, I basically got some lemongrass and geranium and I put it in an oil burner and it was really really nice it really connected with me to my sacral chakra and I felt so much more relaxed it was actually insane so for you guys I feel like lavender would be really good for you guys um that's something you want to do I feel like lavender and lemon would be really good or lav lavender and lemongrass so the last one is sound healing I'm actually thinking of doing a sound healing with my mum on a live stream so if you guys want to check that out then I should be doing that in the next few days um, or I'm just, I will be doing sound healing soon. So just, uh, if you want to uh, check me out on Instagram, then that's probably where I'll be doing it. If not, I will be doing it on YouTube, but I'll be doing it somewhere, guys. So thank you so much for watching group number two. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And if you'd like a um, necklace created into this crystal, please let me know uh, through Instagram or email. As I say, all the information is down below. Hope you have a lovely day. Uh, stay safe and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you need to know for the month of April. Let's see, we have gratitude. That's lovely. Bluebells. I love bluebells. They're so pretty. Okay, what card do we want? We want this one. Moonstone, moon cycles, crown chakra. And then we also have co-create. Lovely. So for you guys, you're really thinking about kind of getting together with people. And obviously that's going to be a little bit difficult physical wise. But I think for a lot of you guys... I'm getting so many messages. Okay, number one, <laughs> FaceTime your friends. I feel like that would really help you to connect with other people. Um, also, the other message is to, um, what's the other message? You know, that's kind of, I've forgotten it now. What was the other message? Connect to your crown chakra, like meditate and kind of really connect with those higher realms so you can really kind of get into um, the positive energy. And obviously if it feels too kind of intense to um, kind of connect with the collective right now, just, just uh, focus on yourself. Okay, just focus on yourself. Um, sorry guys, I just need to adjust this a little bit. Let's adjust this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have revolution. Wow, that's huge. And we also have enthusiasm, sun in Sagittarius. And then we have uh, Jupiter, Virgo. I'm pretty sure that's Jupiter, Virgo. So basically guys, you've got a lot of ideas that you want to do, but you need to have patience with actually like kind of doing those things externally okay um i really feel like you guys want to do so many things but you're kind of getting overwhelmed by it so just calm relax it's okay you're going through a massive revolution right now you're going through breakthroughs you're going through a massive like freedom situation guys you're really kind of shifting your energy and the world is shifting right now we're totally going through a massive spiritual awakening and all of us individually are going through spiritual awakenings so just be grateful for what you have and also just kind of be in that calm space. I feel like for you guys, you're more of the group that wants to move forward, but you're stressing out that you can't, okay? So just take it one step at a time. And I know patience is a pain in the ass, but <laughs> um, you guys will get there, okay? And you have a lot of ideas, so write them down um, and try to kind of like make a plan for them because I think you're that would help you a lot because it makes you feel like you're actually doing something. And also moving your space around, moving around your space, moving things around your home, that will help kind of shift the energy. 
Okay, so yeah, you guys are really feeling stuck. You're feeling very still. You're feeling like you can't move forward, okay? So there's definitely an element of, okay, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna see where things are going. Um, and you're really kind of in, in the mode of like, okay, I have so many ideas, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something about them at some point, okay? So I think you're just kind of creating that space for yourself to just really kind of connect with that energy beautiful right so week one seems a bit slow i feel week one feels like okay too much going on in my head i feel like for you guys you need to meditate meditation would be really really helpful for you guys um because there could be like a standstill in some sort of situation as well and you're waiting for the outcome okay it could be to do with a partner it could be to do with a friend um where you're trying to debate whether you should let them go or let them in okay so it's various different messages for other people okay I'm hearing bullying so if someone's bullying you guys just step away let them go there must be people who bully other people aren't worth it okay i don't know why i got that but focus on yourself you're the most important person okay just going to clarify this five of pentacles okay so you could be meeting a fire sign this month you could be meeting your person so if you want a love partner this could be the month okay for some of you guys Especially for those of you who want a fire sign or a water sign. Um, so you could be the water sign and they could be the fire sign. You're like waiting, you're ready for this person to come in. And this person will most likely come in in the third or fourth week of April. I'm getting really, really hot. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so the chariot, this, this is moving fast. So you're probably attaching to the Aries energy right now. So if you're feeling like, okay, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. You don't have to actually do the moving, okay? You don't actually have to do anything because Aries energy shifts you forward. It pushes you to your limit and it actually helps you to cultivate patience. That's pretty much what the Aries energy is. It's like, okay, I'm gonna push you, push you, push you, push you. And you're like, do you know what? I don't have to do anything. You don't have to do everything at once. You don't even have to do anything right now, okay? You just need to kind of chill, calm, obviously watch the rest of this video if you wanna know the rest of the messages. But in terms of like, you don't actually have to do stuff all the freaking time, okay? And if you're if you're having a hard time dealing with that, you, you don't actually have to do everything all the time, guys. You know, there is times in your life where you can have stillness, okay? So as I say, week two, feeling really, really good about yourself. Things are coming in divine timing. So whatever you've been waiting for, I do feel like you're gonna feel really, really good in the week two. You're gonna feel so, so, so good, okay guys? So if you're not feeling good right now, I do see the energy shifting. Just keep focusing on yourself, keep bringing yourself back to the moment. And if you don't like this moment, just have a little meditation, guys, because sometimes we just really need to relax our mind because it's not what's actually going on outside, it's actually what's going on inside, especially in our mind, okay? Because the mind can take over, especially the ego. We then have the um, Seven of Pentacles with the Magician. So you're, you are working hard on something. You're working on a new project. Um, you could also be um, really invested in something that you have been working on previously and you're trying to execute it and trying to figure out, okay, what's the best way to kind of release it out into the world? Um, you could have a massive epiphany about something or you could have somebody new coming in that helps you shift your energy or gives you a really good idea, okay? I do see entrepreneurialism and I see a trio. So I feel like some of you guys, you could be um, in starting a business with friends. You could be starting a business with two other people. Um, you could also be looking out for like a new lifestyle change, like a new lifestyle choice within number three, uh, week three. So it could be like health, beauty, um, I feel more about food and like fragrance for some of you guys. Maybe you're changing your fragrance that you wear. But for some of you guys, it's, it, I'm getting like a lot of senses like taste, touch, um, smells, that sort of thing. It could even be a new relationship, you know, smelling, smelling your man. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it might be a bit hard with this uh, quarantine, but <laughs> you know. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Pentacles and the King of Wands. You guys <clears throat> have a choice. Okay, and for some reason you're left out in the cold, but I don't feel like this is actually too bad. For some reason, you may have an idea of where you want to go and it may not have worked out the way you wanted it to, but you're actually feeling so much better because it's, maybe it's something that you didn't actually need. Um, it's maybe something you wanted, maybe something you didn't need. So I feel like for you guys, you're going to have some sort of masculine kind of helping you or you could be the masculine who is taking charge of a situation. There's definitely a lot of options here, guys, and you may actually want to have one of these options, but you're scared if that it's too much like the past. And you may think, oh no, and it may trigger you. It may, you may get kind of nostalgia and think, oh Jesus, it's going to be like the past. It's not going to be like the past, guys, okay? 
be passionate, you know, be strong and confident within yourself because that's what's going to get you through the week four. But it feels really, really good. It feels like, okay, I'm going to make a strong decision. I'm going to go for it. That's it. Made the decision. Right. For group number three, four, beautiful stability. So much stability for this group. You're really getting concrete plans out there and you're really focusing on what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel good, that sort of thing. Okay. Lovely. Grounding, beautiful. A lot of you guys are in your head at the moment. Grounding, ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. So for you guys who can get outside, go out for a walk in nature. Just sit on the grass, walk on the grass. Even if you can, have, if you have a garden, maybe put your bare feet on the grass. And if you're in somewhere that's really hot and you know they allow that in parks and shit, I don't know if they do, but if they do, put your feet on the grass, that'll really, really help you. And to put your hands in the dirt or touch a plant or a tree, you know, that sort of thing. And meditate, get a grounding meditation going. Polar bear, nurture, allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Lovely. I love that. This is so accurate for the moonstone. I feel like you could be really affected by the moon cycles as well. So just keep that in mind also, guys. We have a lot of energy being thrown at us at the moment. So, dear, trust. Approach a situation with a light heart. Exactly. It's not that important, guys. If you feel anxiety around it, it's not that important. It's not worth having anxiety over, okay? Because the more you worry, what's it going to do? What's it actually helping? Oh, hello. <laughs> I was feeling a lot of Scorpio energy from this group. Well, and I'm getting really hot now, I'm feeling this. So this, someone, this could also be someone coming in with a passion offer. Oh, hey, group number four, group number three, sorry, week four, group number three, week four. Yeah, someone's possibly coming in with a passionate offer. This could be that you're really feeling pleasure around what you're doing. You feel really happy actually by the end of this month. And it could be for some of you guys who are feeling good. You're really passionate about what you're doing and also connecting with your sacral chakra, okay? So obviously, you know, that's for some of you guys. Um, oh my God, <laughs> this group, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so we also have 44 and 40 and we also have four guys. Some of you guys are gonna manifest a relationship. <laughs> Oh, shit. You could be working on your physical body as well, like your booty, your, your hips, your muffin tops, you know. Um, you could even be getting a tattoo, which I know would be quite hard right now. But maybe I'm doing a tattoo on yourself. Oh, that's a bit dodgy. But yeah, some of you guys, you know, you could be FaceTiming your man. You could be FaceTiming a new partner. You could be FaceTiming a date who you just met. And you're like, do you know what? Let's just do this because I really fancy you. Um, this could also be you just connecting with yourself and connecting with what makes you feel freaking feel good this has never come up in a reading ever not even in a private reading you guys are very special people i guarantee you a lot of you are scorpio who are watching this um aquarius all the all the um fixed signs leo aquarius scorpio and taurus um and water signs just i really really feel that and fire signs 100 percent. i really feel that guys so if you chose group number three hi <laughs> um that was me doing a peace sign, that's not me swearing. Um, I also feel like for you guys, pyrite is gonna be a really good crystal for you because it's very, very good at um, creating success and it's also really good at grounding you. I always have this near me when I'm channeling. It's beautiful. So if you ever want a necklace with this on it, you feel free to let me know. Instagram message me or email me. And that's it guys. Also same for private readings. If you want a private reading, all the information is down below. We had 11, 11 on the clock. Some, some of you are finding your divine partners guys. And also, um, if you've been playing Animal Crossing, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I have Animal Crossing right here. <laughs> um, so if any of you guys have been playing Animal Crossing, uh, hit me up, uh, tell me your friend code, we can be friends. Uh, for some reason, a lot of you guys are playing Animal Crossing in this group, I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm really feeling that. So. Also, guys, if you are watching this group, please let me know if you'd like an Animal Crossing themed reading because I would freaking love to do that. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with Animal Crossing. I have been since I was like eight years old. So thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Excuse my clothing change. I got cold. So we have the first card from the Enchanted Blossoms deck is Friendship. That is so cute. I love that. Okay, we then have Amethyst, Intuition, Third Eye Chakra. We then have TikTok. That's really cute. I love that. So for a lot of you guys, you're kind of wanted to rush things. I think there's a lot of things that you want to achieve and you're like, okay, like, come on universe, like, hurry up. Aren't we all? <laughs> Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. So you see it a bit better. I'm really looking at this purple. 
uh, this is a freesia and the amethyst. The amethyst and the freesia are really kind of drawing my attention. So I really feel like for you guys, there's definitely an element of, okay, we've got to like slow this down. I feel like the angels are going to kind of bring in some kind of guidance for you to help you slow down. Okay. But there is some friendship coming in. That's really, really good. For a lot of you guys, you're probably going to feel this when this friendship is coming in. You're going to have Mars action and submission. So with this Aries energy at the moment, it's really interesting because a lot of the groups are kind of portraying that Aries energy where we all really want to move forward like a lot of us do, we want to kind of get out. But I feel like for you guys, you actually feel more trapped than you actually are. I think for a lot of you guys, you may be thinking of possibly what's actually happening on happening outside, what's happening externally, when actually you should be focusing on in the internal energy because we've got, um, <coughs> excuse me, because we have Venus Pisces, wow. you kind of understand that you do have the option to kind of actually figure things out by yourself and you will figure them out. You may feel more trapped than you actually are because this bird's in a cage and it's looking that way, but the door's actually open. So you may feel like more trapped than you actually are. So what this means is basically to tap into your intuition and see if there's anything that you can kind of cultivate in terms of like, is there anything you can focus on? Is there anything that you can kind of work on? Is there any kind of activities that you can do? And maybe it's just focusing on your intuition and focusing on your meditation and your your practice, that sort of thing. And we had 222 on the clock as well, on the uh, camera. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at week one. Beautiful, nine of cups. Okay, I feel like a very light energy from you guys. Yeah chance to start something new i just got the song um start uh, it's the start of something new from high school musical it's the start of something new it feels so right to be here with you oh <laughs> oh my god that was a really bad song sing song but okay anyway moving on right week four Week four, what is going on in week four? The emperor, beautiful. This is like advancing from like the student becomes the master, the master. Okay, let's have a look at the nine of cups, the world. Oh, hello, hello, new start. Nice to see you, nice to meet you. Wheel of fortune, oh, beautiful. Guys, you are definitely manifesting someone new. So if you guys want a relationship, that is coming in. That is coming in. King of Swords. We've got two kings here. So you could be, somebody could be fighting over you. Two people could be fighting over you. Or you're trying to decide who you want to go towards. It could be that this person actually communicates to you within the week three. And you guys kind of come together and they're coming towards you. Whereas I feel like in week one, they're kind of far away from you. So if you are looking for someone new, this is extra clarification. Okay, can we get another card, please? Okay, you have a lot of men. <laughs> you have a lot of men in your in your group, guys. Okay, right, and we have underneath, we have the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely leaving something behind where you're trying to release the element of submission. You're trying to release the element of feeling unstable, feeling uncomfortable, feeling like you have no choice but to, to rush. And this airy season is going to really pick up on that you know because every season really draws us towards it draws us towards kind of like an energy of I don't know why I feel really breathless in this group I feel really breathless in this group oh I need to take some breaths it's really strange I feel really breathless like I can't take enough breaths it's very strange it's not anxiety it's really weird feeling um anyway so I feel like for you guys you're letting go of some things you're letting go of of a, of the the forcing the pushing the needing to do things all the freaking time be really kind to yourself guys you don't have to do things all the time very similar to a lot of the groups i definitely feel like a lot of you guys are picking up on this aries energy and you're really focusing on okay i need to do this do that do that do this and actually aries energy isn't really actually about that it gives you the motivation to do it but aries energy is is kind of cultivating a more stable sense of action not so much what how much you're doing is what you're doing and what you're doing with your time okay so don't feel the need to do everything and fill the space all the time okay guys 
So as I say, week one, new start, really feeling really, really good. I feel like you're kind of trying to get away from this. I feel like this is kind of flying off, flying away. So I feel like for you guys, you're trying to really focus on your friendships. You're probably really like talking to your friends on FaceTime, texting them, uh, seeing what they're up to, seeing if they're okay. And I feel like for you, you guys, you're having a whole new start. I really feel like for a lot of you guys who have chosen this group have really shed a lot of the old stuff and are ready for the new friendships, are ready for the new start. So week two, we have the Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups and the Sun. So for a lot of you guys, you could be starting a new relationship with somebody, you may not know who this is, you may know who this is. If you don't know who this is, they're going to come in once this new start happens. So I reckon you're going to meet them within, within the second week, guys, second or third week, okay? We then have the chariot with the king of swords. So this person is going to offer some sort of kind of communication, okay? And if, isn't, if this isn't a person, I do feel like you're balancing out your masculine and your feminine side and you're feeling much more confident with where you're going in terms of your emotions. Okay, sorry I'm breathing a lot, guys. I feel really breathless in this group, so I'm sorry if I'm like over-breathing or anything. I do apologise. So... It's also hay fever season, so I'm really feeling it. So with the King of Swords and the Chariot, this person who's coming towards you may feel a bit stern, may be kind of a bit standoffish, but this person is really, really interested in you. So they're, you're gonna make, they're gonna make you feel like, oh, okay, maybe I should be interested in this person. If you're not really that interested, they're gonna kind of entice you, you know, in a good way. Because they're very strong-minded and they're somebody who wants to move forward with you and help you with your career, wants to help you with your work, wants to help you succeed and wants to see you succeed. There's definitely a new start within April and I really feel some good energy. And we have you moving away from two different things. You may be moving away from a fire sign or moving towards a fire sign or even moving away from a fire sign towards an earth sign, okay? As you take it as it resonates, guys, it's different for every single person. But yeah, definitely moving away from something. I'm going to get the Astro Dice. I haven't done this for any other groups, but I recently need to do it for this group. So what's this group number four got in April, please? Okay, so we have the we have Leo, we have Neptune, we have the 12th house. So this is basically about you letting go of any sort of anger and any frustration you have towards your path and the way you want to succeed, okay? So the way that this is kind of coming up is that you have a very strong sense of self or you're cultivating that sense of self and you're releasing anything that doesn't serve you that stops you from feeling like your full self, okay? And you're really cultivating passion and excitement and happiness and you're really looking towards it. I mean, when Leo is the sun, excuse me guys, but Leo is the sun, so I really feel like you guys are feeling very, very happy. You're feeling very joyful, okay? And if you aren't, you are gonna get there, okay? I'm just gonna move these over here. Let's see what number is your number this month, what you should be looking out for. Number one, perfect, new start, beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look and see what other advice you want. You gonna come out, little card? There you are. So we have both of these. Just do you want this one? This one, not this one. Okay. So I'll take that in a minute. Sorry guys, if this is this shuffling is really loud. I'm trying to do it away from the microphone. So it's not too loud. Okay. They want to pick three cards. So we're gonna get one more. Oh, okay, don't want those. Right. So also if any of you guys are playing Animal Crossing right now, sorry, I have my Animal Crossing. Uh, game here and I keep looking at it. If any of you guys play Animal Crossing, hit me up and let me know your friend code so we can connect. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh my God, there's a lot of stuff going around, on around my heart chakra and my throat chakra. Okay, so we have honour, lion, honour your soul and celebrate its journey. This is perfect. This is that Leo energy we were talking about, <clears throat> honouring that. And you may be getting some intuition, some like downloads. So just hold on to that and really keep that in mind. We then have the Lama, soul growth. Growth is never easy. Have faith and trust in the journey. It could be some friendships who are helping you in your soul journey as well. Tenderness, a show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So you could be feeling a rush to go forward or actually you need to kind of step back and think, is there anything I need to release? And if there isn't anything, maybe something will come up and if not, that's fine. This is your journey and every journey is different. <coughs> Excuse me, every journey is different. So you're gonna be completely fine. Right, what does group number four need to know in terms of self-love? What can they be doing this month? What can they be doing to cultivate self-love? 
<clears throat> Sorry, guys. Right. We have aromatherapy. This has come up for literally every single group. And I'm going to say the same story that I said in the other groups is that my sacral chakra was doing something really, really weird. And what helped me was to put on some lemongrass and geranium oil in an oil burner. Really, really helped. So if you can get some of that, depending on which chakra you're really feeling it from. So if you're feeling anger, get yourself something light. So lemongrass, um, if you're feeling like you need some love get some rose, rose water, rose oil, that sort of thing, alone time, yeah, beautiful, so even though we are kind of alone, you know, in our houses and all that, and having time alone, what's really important is actually separating yourself from your family sometimes, and getting that alone time as much as you can, <clears throat> surround yourself with crystals, if you can get near the water, do that, if you can get near the beach, or even just having a bath, listening to the waves, that sort of thing, okay, I want this one as well. Okay, so under this deck we have energy work. So you're really working on all your different chakras. You could be receiving distance healing, like Reiki or something. Um, and we also have sync with the moon. So look out for your moon cycle, guys. Look out and see. Um, in, when I say moon cycle, I don't mean like your period. I mean, I mean maybe your period for some of you. But it's basically just making sure that you're not... Um, when, you're, when, the, when the moon is kind of in like a very strong state, be aware of that and kind of aware of your mood and how it affects your mood. Connect with fire. So light some candles, maybe even have a fire if it's safe to do so. And yeah, just really connect with fire. So definitely the elementals and the chakras for you guys. Definitely the senses and the chakras. I really feel like being in the senses is very, very important at the moment. It really gets you in touch with your body and understand that everything's okay. And when you're feeling senses, you're safe because you're receiving that those signals to your brain <clears throat> to tell your body that you're safe. Okay, so abundance planning. Planning what you want to do in the future. This is like living expenses, self-development, savings, travel. Keep track of your finances. Don't shop when you're hungry <laughs> preach okay so yeah that's really really beautiful so really kind of um setting yourself up for the future and really planning on what's coming forward towards you so i'm sorry that my chest and my throat are doing weird stuff in this group there's definitely a lot of throat chakra a lot of heart chakra and a lot of sacral chakra Woo! okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe down below and yeah that's pretty much it for it and also i will be doing some amethyst necklaces i do i have some raw ones available not on my shop yet because it's not up yet but i do have some so if you're interested in getting a necklace from me let me know guys if you want that in that crystal or any crystal as i say if you want a reading all the information is down below email or instagram message me i'll speak to you very soon much love